There is some type of plague that is taking over this backrooms level, and we have no idea what it actually is, but I do have some theories. So stick around if you want to hear them. Please stick around, I'm lonely. Anyways, today I will be explaining level 511 of the backrooms. This one is a wild level, so without further ado or any more blabbering, let me just get right into this explanation, shall we? So level 511 is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is very, very unsafe and not very secure at all and has a constant threat of collapse. The level is always in a state of destruction and construction both. 511 takes the appearance of an infinite hospital building. The explorable part of the level takes place in the hallways, the rooms, the staircases, and the lobby areas. And all of these places don't actually have a normal layout. Instead, they're randomly jumbled together, and it makes no sense. Most of the level has a modern design to it. It's, it's not an old hospital, it's like a new one. And everything is sterile and clean, and the air itself smells like floor wax and cleaning supplies. The entire level has a very strange, uncanny quality to it when you're walking around. You'll notice you're completely alone, but you don't really feel alone. Walking through the hallways, you might run across a few tables or stretchers or chairs or beds, and you might run into a hallway that's completely empty. You can't really tell, it just depends on where you go. The walls in the rooms here are all painted in a white or pale color palette with nondescript features like lines or circles painted on them. The paint style is very different depending on where you're at inside the level. You could open up a door and go to a different hallway and it could be a completely different color palette. The hallways here, of course, have doors that you can access rooms from and each of these doors can lead to different stairwells or different hallways or other rooms like I just said. It's very easy to get lost because of that. It kind of makes this jumble of possibilities that you can go to. The rooms you might walk into pretty much resemble modern hospital rooms from real life. They have beds and operating machines and chairs and nothing really seems to be out of the ordinary inside of the rooms. Except it does have that weird, empty, uncanny feeling to it. On rarer occasions, rooms can look like other medical places that aren't just hospital rooms. They can look like orthodontist rooms or operating tables, maternity wards, ICU rooms, and other types of offices. Pretty much any medical location from real life can make an appearance here. On your walk through this infinite hospital, you'll also run into other places like lobbies with check-in desks and break rooms and janitor's closets and things like that. And since it's all random, you might be walking down a hallway and then a random lobby will appear. It makes no sense, but that's the level for you. Now you might think this means that the level has non-Euclidean geometry, but it actually does not. The atmosphere here is completely normal, and there's not really any weird time or spatial anomalies. Don't get me wrong though, it's still weird, it's still a class 5 and dangerous, but there's no non-Euclidean geometry. Strangely, this level might not actually be infinite. Instead, it might have an infinity effect where there's so many possible locations that you could explore in it that it seems to be infinite, even though it's not. Kind of like Minecraft, when you're walking to unloaded chunks, this level might do the same, where it renders new chunks. We don't know. It's hard to judge it without mapping the entire thing, and I'm not crazy enough to do that. Some hallways here dead end in black voids, and they can't be explored past that void. And this makes some people think that it's not infinite. If you have any ideas on what the black void could be, leave a comment below. On top of that, some of the other doors and the other windows in this hospital also open up to that same black void. You cannot walk through it or jump through it, you kind of just bounce off of it. But if you walk away and lose sight of it and then come back, the void will no longer be there and instead a new part of the level will be revealed. And that goes back to what I was saying about Minecraft, where this level might generate new parts when you're not there. Who knows, man? So far the level doesn't seem too bad, I'm sure. You know, I'm just a little hospital with a few little quirks with some voids and stuff. But now it's time to get to the part of the video where I have to go over the dangers. I know, I know, you know, trust me, the dangers are cool though, you know, you don't have to worry about it, they're pretty cool. So the level is mainly devoid of creatures, however you might find a smiler or a clump or a wretch more likely that is no clipped here, and it's thought that every entity that you might see is not native to this level, like I said, they no clipped. 
and typically hide out in the darker areas and the stairwells to ambush prey. But nevertheless, these are not the bad part of the level. These are not the dangers you'll have to face because the entities are nothing compared to the real danger here, the plague that I mentioned earlier at the beginning. You see, level 511 is constantly under attack by an undying black corrosive goo. It's just pitch black, Fanta black actually, which means that it absorbs all light around it and it looks like a black hole. This force behaves like a thick, gooey, water type substance that destroys and envelops and decays anything that it touches. It literally absorbs everything. Chairs, tables, walls, floors, quite literally anything it touches, it will envelop and grow and destroy. I mean, it will literally get rid of anything. I wonder if you could come here with like your homework and then throw your homework in it and then go back to school and tell the teacher that, hey man, this giant goo ate my homework. Can I get a pass? If I was still in school, I would try it. Now this gooey force also has some visible oddities with it as well. For example, around the edges of the goo, you'll notice that it's got pixelation around it. And this pixelation will cause whatever the goo is going over to also become pixelated before the substance absorbs it. It's kind of like it's feeling it around. Now, even though this goo is moving pretty slowly, it also emits a weird sound. The sound has been described as a low, staticky distortion noise, kind of like a mutated humbuzz glitch. And this noise is truly the only way to know if this goo is near you, so keep your ears open on this level. Literally no one understands why the goo exists or why it's plaguing this level or pretty much anything else about it. All we know is the following. The destruction of objects it touches only happens fully once the goo envelops that object. So technically you could still save something from being decayed if you grab it out of the goo before it completely goes over it. Also the goo affects people as well if they touch it, causing the part that you touched like a finger or something to decay. The origins of the goo is unknown, but some people think it comes from 511 itself. Me personally, I think those blacked out void areas from earlier behind the doors and windows might have something to do with it. I don't know, it's kind of sus that there's like this black void and the black goo, it's too convenient. I think they're related somehow. Like what if the goo comes from whatever level or thing that black void is and it seeps into the hospital hallways here and then expands and explores and decays everything. We just can't know, I guess. But you need to know if you hear staticky glitching and see this pixelating black goo stuff, run like your life depends on it because it does. Now, as far as bases or camps here, there are no bases and there, there couldn't be because of the goo. It would probably eat everybody. But to enter the level, you can be on level 11 and enter a hospital or clinic there to trigger a no clip here. Or you can use any one of the other entrances listed. There's other ones, but level 11 is the easiest. To exit, listen close. Since the level is in a constant cycle of destruction and creation, the exits change all the time. But one of the most common ones is if you find a large reception waiting room type area with seats, you might be able to find a set of double doors that you can walk through. You walk through those double doors, you'll be in level 11's hospital again. Or you can find another door that might send you somewhere else. Like I said, it changes because the goo constantly eats the level, but also the level kind of expands by itself, so it's constantly being destroyed and created. Either way, you're gonna wanna escape this place before the plague gets to you. Anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. I thought this level was great. Leave a like if you made it this far to the video. Let me know if you want any other levels and I'll uh, check them out. Also, while you're down there, check out my third channel, Spoogly, if you want more internet horror mystery stuff. I'm trying to get that channel to 100,000 this year. And if you want to help, go for it. Hopefully your all's New Year's resolutions are still going strong. Remember to keep up the good vibes this year and to grind it out. Love and appreciate y'all. Tell somebody you love them too. And without further yapping, I will end the video. Have a great day or night or morning or wherever you're at. Bye.